So I told a friend of mine that I just bought, I was uh, doing something here to fix my headlamps on my uh, old Dodge Dakota 2000. And he says, oh, you tried that thing with the bug spray? I'm like, bug spray? What are you talking about? And he says, yeah, you buy mosquito repellent, like this repel or off. I guess, hopefully it doesn't matter which brand. I said, well, I never heard of that. So let's find out if it's a conspiracy. 24-year-old headlight thing here. That's enough mosquito repellent to scare every mosquito in the world. Dripping all that nasty crap down all over my beautiful cardboard box. Definitely dirt. <laughs> Compare it to a new one. room to get this in there. So this is the old one. There's a brand new one. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as good as new. But it did actually remove some dirt. I'll give it that. Of course, the window cleaner might have done the same thing. So what happens if we decide to try an old fog light? This is from the same truck. This is, I don't know, I guess it's a stock thing. I didn't own the truck when it was new. So there's a fog light. In case you have a hard time seeing, this part here is a little more clear than that. Let her soak in for a minute or so. And remember, there's what came off of uh, the other one, all that black gunk. Like I say, Windex might do that, or even Walmart version of Windex. Tell you what, it ain't as good as new, but I can see down through there. There's the really clear part. It's still fogged up, and maybe it's pocked up. You know, maybe there's a lot of pock marks from uh, driving down the road all the time. We'll get a new one because I bought a new fog light too. I'm an idiot. Let's see here. So here's a brand new fog light. Still has a piece of plastic over the thing. Compared to 24 years old. I would certainly think this one here is going to be considerably brighter. But I will say bug spray... Uh, Removed some 
crap off of there. I can actually see down in there. I couldn't see the reflector, I don't think, before. I wonder if, I don't know if I can get this thing off of here without breaking it. Pause and see if I can take that off just to see through it. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing off of here. I tried sliding the pocket knife in there. I could get the blade in, but it wasn't going to come off, and I didn't feel like getting 20 stitches in my hand. I don't know if this thing's glued on. There's a slight gap there, but it ain't meant to come off. Because your bulb's back here. Don't touch the bulb, that thing's halogen. I can't seem to get it off, but if you look, you can see here, is that on the video? Yeah, it's in front of the camera, isn't it? This part here was kind of protected all these years from uh, all the road debris and junk that's, you know, dead bugs or whatever you're getting on you in rain. And This part here looks almost clear new for like a finger width. And then this 90% of it is all pitted up and everything. But I will say, the bug spray really does do something. And it was pretty effortless. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than, I don't know how good, like, you know, you can buy specialized stuff. You can use toothpaste. But the bug spray really does something.